Hello and welcome back. I'm Zevlin. Let's play a little bit more of our Vandals campaign. Um, last time we kind of lost the event that allowed us to take free stuff, but then we gained it right away. So it was kind of weird. Uh, may have had something to do with me actually turning the game off and turning it back on. Unfortunately, I was in the middle of that war. Um, so I did have to kind of peace out and take a bunch of uh, prestige, not prestige, uh, diplo and admin power hits. To take anything it became obvious to me almost right away that I probably didn't need to do that so more Arianism and we're just kind of waiting for all these sieges to finish incompetent diplomacy better relations over time minus 10 that's not good Take you, move you down there, I'll move you down there. That needs to stay. But these three can go there. This one can go down here. I'm just waiting for a few more of these sieges to finish. And we should be well on our way. Let's go ahead and take a look for hostile sieges. Hostile Siege, right there, 35%. Never did get anybody down there for that. That's not good. Probably going to lose that. Alright, more Arianism, that's good. And 10 years of nationalism. I did not get there in time, that's no good. So now we need to make sure we head this guy off. I can start converting another thing, even though that's not really that big of a deal. I need to convert it to Arianism. Where's he going? Okay. Should be able to. There we go. I'm going to squish him quite easily. More Patriot sentiment. That is just tons, tons, tons more revolt risk. An accepted culture. Galleon is now an accepted culture. That's great. Um, yep, these two will have to be dealt with. And these sieges need to finish. Because my revolt risk is going to be insane soon. Okay, come on, sieges. See, that's 10-3, so I need one of each there. That's fine. I can go ahead and build those. One Barbarian, uh, Raider, and one Migration Period X-Men. And that Revolt Risk in that list was insane. I don't even want to look at that. Just get these sieges done. Get out of here. Come on. Come on, siege. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's a siege. There goes a military leader. That's fine. There's a revolt right here. Um, let's send this one this way. Send this one this way. That's fine. Still waiting on a lot of these to finish. Alright. 
More revolt risk and another siege. Okay. More sieges. More Arianism. That's a good thing. More sieges. That's not a good thing. Alright, let's move you here. And sure, let's move you here. Should be fine by the time you get there. Come on, sieges. I'm still at negative 28%. That's not good. Most of these are just about done though. 49%, 14%, 28% with the walls broken, 35% with the walls broken, and 14%. So hopefully this will be done soon and I can just start to rebuild. That would be nice. The walls broke on my smallest siege. Move these guys back to the coast. All right, there's another siege. All right, zero percent on the furthest back siege. Okay, both those popped up in the same place. Do I have anybody left down here? You're there. You can go here. That's fine. Those should win just fine without any problem. Alright, there's another defection. Come on, break. There's another defection. Another siege. Another defection. Come on, break. Three more sieges up there. And then I'm pretty much done. You know, other than fighting all these rebels. Alright, there's another defection. I will definitely take the base tax on that decision. Grab you, move you here, you here, you two here. Alright, there's some more sieges. And poor uniforms, that's fine. Get a little bit less morale. Um, another siege. Those are just telling me the sieges are over. Let's merge these guys up, move them here, and move them to the coast for the supply limit. And one more siege. There it is. More Arianism, that's good. More revolt risk, that's bad. Now just wait six months for these things to finish up okay merchant assassinated we'll get absent merchant minus 10 power there's a defection another and that's a actually a big revolt well revolts are getting quite big Oh, more nationalist sentiment. And just waiting on these to defect, really. Pretty soon. Hey, okay, there's one of them. Definitely okay with more Arianism. It's less things for me to convert. Come on. Any minute now, these will all be done and I can peace out and just start fighting through all these rebels. Okay. 
Let's get these guys spread out a little bit. Oh my gosh. Never ending rebels. do believe that makes me done with everything I kind of want to grab so let's just go ahead and peace out um, they have no money I can't take anything I can make them a null treaties I'm just fine white peace I took everything I wanted so now it's just a matter of getting my revolt risk down in some way which the first way I can think of is by boosting stability. There's another conversion. One of the problems was is that entire time I was 132% over um, overextended and I was at war with the places that I was trying to core. So now religion 33% I am going to convert to Arianism. Oh my gosh, that's going to be so expensive. I can't really afford that right now. I really need to wait until my overextension is done. I mean, that's all there is to that. Need less overextension, please. Oh my gosh. This is going to be a constant chore until... I can get some of this stuff taken care of. That's fine. I gained a huge portion of land. I wouldn't expect it to be easy. More Arianism. That's fine. So let as much of that convert as possible. Yes, more Arianism. That's great. More revolt risk. And more revolts. So let's just move you to Saxony, that's fine. Oh boy. Lots of revolts, lots of revolt risk, and more revolts. Ticking away, keep ticking forward. Where are my boats? You know, protecting trade there, that's fine. I guess I could look into trade, except for I'm so far overextended, none of it will matter. More Arianism, more local revolt risk, more revolts. Oh, that's not good. Can I even get there? I can't even get there. Danish nationalists. This is the easy way. We take care of the revolts. Start sieging there. Here 
repair that revolt. I need my boats actually to come down here so that I can actually move my troops where I want to. Split you in half, start sieging there. Go here. Win this. Local revolt risk minus 5%. That's nice. Okay, I'm going to move you here. Squish that revolt. Win some sieges. Again. Alright, there we go. Let's move you to Fen. And that should pretty much win me this war. So I can take this whole thing. I'm just going to vassalize them, I believe. So I'll look into taking care of them once I've taken enough war score. There we go, got all those revolts taken care of. More revolt risk. And more revolt risk. This is not looking good. I'm going to gain some more exhaustion and lose a ton of manpower. That's not good. More revolts. More revolts. It's getting a little absurd. By a little absurd, I mean a lot absurd. There's some cores. So not quite so overextended anymore, that's nice. I'm not sure I should even convert anything right now. I'm going to be switching very, very soon. As soon as some of these sieges win. More Arianism. There goes another military leader, that's fine. On sieges. There's one. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at this. This is still going on. I can just hold on to him. I'm just gonna hold on to him. This is ridiculous. May as well just take him. Why spend the energy recording them? Alright. Move one guy down to take the siege over. Let's move you there. Let's move you there. More Arianism. That's fantastic. 28%. Oh my gosh. So many sieges. So many rebels. Okay, gold rush. Sweet, 400 ducats. I gain a little bit of inflation, that's fine. Let's move you to a coast. And 42%, come on. Siege. There it is. More gold rush. More sacks. More free provinces. More revolts. There we go. Just a few more months and then this one will go.
And somehow I have no rival points. That's weird. Lost inflation. It's fantastic. I mean, 3% inflation. I'm making 138.6 ducats a month. In the year 382. But I cannot seem to get rid of rebels. They just keep coming. It may be because of my everything <laughs> I've been doing. Merge you together. You're fine to stay up there. Just waiting on this one last province. There it is. And I'm no longer at war. Alright, so I'm not at war. I have only 31% religious unity. Um, my overextension's just about gone. Let's wait for that. Fifteen November of this year. I'm no. I have almost. I have almost a thousand force limit. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's just ridiculous. I'm never gonna build that many troops. There's one of my cores, and there's another one. Stay here. I'm now trading in fish. National revolt risk minus one. That is pretty timely. Okay. Well, let's look at some of this revolt risk. 14% yeah so I think the best thing to do since I have so much revolt risk and everything else the best thing to do would clearly be to convert to Arianism and lose force stability and gain two national revolt risk so that's what I'm gonna do All right, I can pass this, which gains National Revolt Risk, but plus Missionary Strength, I will do that. Stability Cost Modifier, but Tolerance of Heretics plus up plus one, that's fine. That would make me even Tolerance of Heretics, though only a very small amount of anything I have are Heretics. All of those are Heretics, so that's fine. Let's go ahead and do that. Stability cost modifier, actually, I don't want to do that. Missionary strength, please. Lower stability cost modifier, plus four, or minus four percent national tax modifier. Yes, I will be taking that. National revolt risk up, but national tax modifier up a lot. No, not quite yet. I will take this one, but only after I boost this. Now I will take this one. Grab a little bit more Tolerance of Heretics. And I'm not going to take a little bit more Revolt Risk for money. That's not good. Still have the mission to Annex here, so I'll go ahead and do that. And I can go ahead and Annex this one as well and just get it done. Okay, um, Royal Marriage with Austria, that's fine. Why did I fail this mission? Am I not annexing them? That's weird. Okay, now I'm trading in wool as well. Uh, ship cost, minus 5%. Handy, I'm probably not going to be building a large ship naval fleet right now. Uh, I did get another revolt here, so let's take care of that. Where's my army right here? Let's look. Create a proper fleet. Reclaim Holy City. 
Jude owned by the Vandals. So I could take that, um, gain a ton of money and a ton of prestige, create an army for our nation. 75% um, of our force limit is 750 guys. I don't think so. We're not going to take any mission right now. Those are all going to be quite ridiculous, and I'm nowhere near any of them. Let's take this and move it down here. Let's get you onto a coast. Let's actually move you over here. We'll move you to Krakow, and let's move this guy over here. Need to move more guys eastward. All right, so start converting. Have a long list of things to convert. I do only have 18% religious unity. That's not good. Most of these have religious zeal and stuff. National revolt risk. Nope. Unfortunately, I don't have a guy to speed this along. And let's take a quick look at our revolt risk. Pretty freaking high. All right. So, I'm still ahead of time on techs, except for this one. I did spend a lot of money, or uh, admin points. All right, yes, I will take the fort defense. And I'm just going to have to keep squishing revolts. I really should put a few of these on a autonomous and quit messing with it. In fact, that's what I'm going to do. This guy has a leader. Now on autonomous, you can be on autonomous, you can be on autonomous. Let's grab one of these down here. This one right here can be on autonomous. And that's probably good enough. All right, Arianism spread, that's great. I hope it keeps spreading naturally without me having to do anything about it. Wales finally took over something. There has been no movement in this area other than Rome's area defecting to England. It looks like the picks took a little bit too, so... Alright, keep spreading, Arianism. Keep me from having to convert. Yes, keep spreading. All right, a little bit of poor vintage for negative five prestige. Some free manpower, not that I need it. And those rebels will be automatically... Man, Arianism is spreading fast. That is awesome. Let's keep that up. There we go. That's fantastic. Just watch this map turn this uh, weird forest greeny color. There's some conversions. There's an integration. Uh, production or trade efficiency. I'm going to go with production. More Arianism. Um, more Arianism. And more Arianism. And there's that annexation. All right, let's go back to the top of the list. Form an alliance with Greece. Why not? I don't even know if that mission's possible. Looks like it might be. There you go. Incorporate Austria. I was pretty sure I was on my way to doing that. Yes, I am anyway. Royal marriage from Greece. Yes, please. Let's improve relations with you while we're at it. Wait till July 1st. Improve relations. 
And... Can I get a royal marriage with you? If I wanted to? Not in the right religious group. Okay. Wasn't quite sure what religious group I was in now. Okay, let's take a look and see. So I am in the Christian religious group. That's good. They're, they're heretical, so that's good. Everything else is heathen. What religion are you, Druids? I have a claim up there. I'm not sure I really want to take it and have to convert more things. The annexation is almost done. And I'm going to go ahead and put a break in here. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'm not sure what my next goal is. I mean, I've pretty much completely collapsed Rome. Byzantines are still there, so maybe that should be a goal, is to try and crush the Byzantines. Um, it's possible I might head towards a world conquest at some point. I mean, I'm a long way away from that. I have to get to admin tech. Um, I forget what it is. Something like 30 or something like that to be able to get rid of this large empire modifier, negative modifier. At 19, which I'm edging ever so much more closely to, um... Yeah, that's fine. I don't really need this. Let's get rid of that. Save some admin points. Don't think I'm really that far ahead of time on... I am ahead of time on tech, actually, so we'll keep that. That's fine. So, admin point nine... Or I'll get rid of the first part of this negative modifier for having too big of a empire, wherever that is. I don't know where it is. Oh well, whatever. So I'll gain a little bit. But I'll also, very soon after that, have to get rid of the whole barbarian tribe thing. Um, so we'll have to look into to doing that. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you next time.